you. Our colleague Elmer now has the floor. Uh, well, thank you very much, Madam Chairman, and can I thank uh, our two guests for their presentation. I apologize that I arrived uh, a little late and therefore uh, I missed some of it, but I noted the emphasis on the increasing role for renewables. Um, and in this context, I wanted to ask our two presenters um, if they are aware of the early signs of what appears to be a change of mood um, in the European institutions with regard uh, to renewables, and I think particularly of the Parliament's vote uh, against backloading of the ETS, uh, which in my experience of 14 years in this Parliament is the very first time that the Parliament has voted in favour of jobs and prosperity uh, and against extreme greenery. Uh, and also I would draw attention to the recent approach by um, uh, organisations of European industry and employers who have drawn the attention of the Commission to the extreme competitive problems which European industry is facing because of the high price of electricity driven in large part uh, by our over-reliance uh, on renewables. They are pointing out that industries and investment and jobs are being driven out of the European Union altogether uh, to other jurisdictions with lower energy costs such as America or China or India. Um, and I wonder whether ACER has taken into account um, the possible shift of mood with regard to renewables. And in the context of the very high costs of renewables, um, can I just draw attention to a phrase used by our colleague uh, Claude Termez, where he speaks of capacity markets. Uh, of course, capacity markets is a euphemism in this parliament, and especially popular with the Green Party. We don't mean capacity markets. We mean additional state subsidies to fossil fuel generators whose main function uh, is to back up intermittent renewables and they require these capacity payments of course because uh, in their nature they are forced to run way below their optimum capacity uh, and therefore to run their businesses at all uh, they require from the taxpayer or possibly the electricity consumer uh, they require further subsidies so that when we consider the enormous subsidies already squandered on renewables we should also take into account the capacity payments which actually add to the total level of subsidy uh, and the excessive cost uh, of renewable policies and initiatives. Thank you.